Hello everyone. As you can see in the title, today we will learn the very easiest way for power calculation. We need some data, for example, the height, the number of buckets, only one side, lifting material against the gravity, and the bucket volume. Bulk density, the chain, uh, if it's belt, the weight per meter weight we need, the linear traveling speed. For example, we have the elevator height is 10 meter, and the number of buckets we have 10. Each bucket weight we have 2 kg, and the total weight we have 20 kg. This is only one side elevator and we need the bucket volume and you can see in the sketch you can calculate in the bulk density and we have the bulk density 900 kg per meter cube and the belt weight or uh, is chain whatever it is it's assume it's 8 kg per meter Last, we have the linear speed. This is standard. It's 1.1 meter per second. The calculation. We can start now. We can start now the calculation. How much time travel from bottom to top? The total height is 10 meter. 1.1 meter per second is the linear speed. And we have the total time from bottom to top is 9 seconds in 1 second 1 bucket 1 bucket in 1 second and total number of buckets we have 10 total volume in 10 buckets we have 0 0.01 meter cube into 10 we have 0 0.1 meter cube only one side we will and the total volume traveling in one second as you can see is 0 0.01 meter cube and the total volume travel in one hour is 36 meter cube total mass in one hour now you can multiply by the density and you can see is 32.4 tons per hour Apply the safety factor of 80% of filling the buckets. The total weight of 10 buckets. We have 90 kg and the total weight in 10 buckets we have 20 kg. The total weight of belt it was 25 kg and the total gross weight all of them we have 135 kg it means the total work done will be the linear speed into total weight we have 114.5 on the total pull against gravity we multiply by the gravity Four five seven newton meter per second or uh, is joule joule per meter second as we know one watt equal to one joule per second one watt is equal to one joule per second which means that one kilowatt equal to thousand joule per second as you can see by the vision I have my kilowatt but here I will apply the safety factor of 1.1 and 
I have finally the total kilowatt for this elevator is 1.6 kilowatt. Thank you.